do rag wisdom folks and welcome to y2k 17.09.25 Doter Donald T's Ministry USA worse than Doter Donald T's ranch and uh, my little quote for you today is from author George Orwell Political language is designed to make lies sound truthful and murder respectable and to give an appearance of solidity to pure wind. That's from George Orwell. I'm happy that I had the foresight to read Orwell's 1984 and then subsequently got familiar with his essay work. I am sorry that I never had George Orwell as my literature, social studies, political science, journalism, or sociology professor because he would have made sure to document the truth and to make sure that we use our language wisely and not abusively. Anytime, folks, that you hear someone use the term Orwellian, <clears throat> this means that the language is being abused and misused. This powerful tool that can both make and break governments and human lives. The act of the criminal abuse of language gets the great author's name, Orwellian, because he is the one who made us all aware of, the, of it the same way that Darwin made us aware of evolution and Freud made us aware of the subconscious. I am happy that I read Orwell's disturbing and graphic depiction of a totalitarian society, but I'm now driven crazy by the knowledge it has given me in this age of Trumpist and GOP teabagger abuse of our liberties and their use of the very tools that Orwell introduced in 1984. If you've read the novel, you are familiar with the four ruling ministries of the Ingsoc Party. The Ministry of Plenty, representing starvation and economic inequality. The Ministry of Peace, representing war and the promotion of war. The Ministry of Love, representing violence, torture, brainwashing, and hatred. And the Ministry of Truth, the media, representing propaganda and lies. Note that Orwell injects cruel sorry about that folks <laughs> note that Orwell injects cruel and bitter irony into his novel and in part through the very words and very titles he has given the totalitarian system that he has created he added to the, his Ingsoc ideology the notion of the mutability of the past falsely revise the past to your benefit, when that, the GOP does that all the time. Newspeak, creating a language to limit thought, and doublethink, doublethink. The ideology that states you hold two contradictory beliefs and use one or the other depending on how it benefits you or your party. And forgetting that you ever held the opposite belief in the first place. Donald Trump uses doublethink all the time and with impunity. He invented the fake news racist notion that President Obama was not a natural born US citizen and yet complains that fake news is attempting to bring down his dictatorship. The pernicious GOP of this era wants to take away health care for millions of Americans and yet call their bill health care. Again, the fact that I am now seeing Orwellian concepts acted out in front of me by my federal government is driving me to climb up the walls so I could bang my bald head on my ceiling. The entire goal of Doter Donald T. and his party is to dismantle our federal government. The final arbiter of our protections against fiends like the Do Doter Donald and his party. 
To carry out their nefarious plans, the GOP must have gotten someone together with the semi-illiterate dotard, someone who knows 1984 as well as I do, and as an outline to the fool a way to usurp human rights while using the language to help. Check out what the GOP has called their budgets or their health care proposals. Check out the titles of these proposals. I'm not going to list them now, but I depend on you to see for yourselves. They paint a very rosy picture in their titles of how human beings are going to be treated. But if you look within, you always see a program that rips apart the protections that most citizens need. If only we understood that the GOP of this era wants nothing or little for the citizens of our country, but instead for those rich few who care little if the rest of us drown. It disturbs me greatly that our precious federal government is under attack by traitors who are dedicated to turning it slowly, surely, and cancerously into Dodor Donald T's Ministry USA, where bitter, horrific irony rules supreme. He just appointed someone to head the Consumer Product Safety Board who is against consumer safety. He appointed someone to head the FCC who wants to privatize the Internet. The Dodor Donald T has an education secretary against public education. He has as head of his health and human services someone who does not want to serve humans anything at all except their own children to eat. Let's not forget Suet Scott Pruitt, head of the Environmental Protection Agency who hates the environment. And his partner in grime and crime, Stinky Zinky the head of the Interior Department, who wants to sell our public lands to filthy oil. Each of our departments keep their names, but their purpose is now the opposite, with the final goal being the dismantling of our federal government with chaos to follow, ending in the totalitarian rule of the former USA. I am not fooled by the creeps now infesting our lives and our government. There is still another three years and four months to go of this outrage with more ugly damage to follow. Thankfully, more and more people are waking up and are maybe learning to not take our democratic republic for granted. The Frankenstein monster, Mary Shelley's classic, was a misunderstood and abandoned being. He had, if anything, some tragic pathos. But this Frankenstein's monster, of the one of the GOP, the one they created out of their own bigotry, hatred, and ignorance, this Frankenstein's monster has no pathos and no humanity. We are left with bitter irony and worse if we allow our precious country to be co-opted by Dodor Donald T's Ministry USA. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a supplement. Y2K 17.09.25. And uh, just want to remind everybody that uh, we don't want this creep to get us into a nuclear war and uh, I just heard that uh, North Korea has declared war on us uh, this is what this creep has always wanted he has always wanted to get us into some kind of war I refuse to follow this dotard bastard T Trump T down the road to our destruction so please be aware of that and we'll talk more about that another time. And of course, kudos to the NFL players. Wow, have I gained a great deal of respect for these folks. Wow. And I understand what their protest is about. The Jewish people were slaves in Egypt. And black people 
were slaves here in this country. It is time that we stand up and demand an end to the racist rule of this white supremacist bastard. Keep it up, M NFL. Keep it up. Do not stop. This is a free country.